Hello and welcome back to Wind Waker. We are going to go mess around in Windfall Island. There's a lot of useless things to do in here. And only one useful thing to do. So we will start by going up the hill here. I don't know what that click is. There's a sound, a clicky sound. First, we'll come in here. Move and pick up this spot, throw it here, and step on the switch. Step on the switch. Really? You have to move more pots? Fine. And there's Tingle from Majora's Mask. Hooray! Thank you so very much! It was Tingle's heartfelt gift to thanks! Tingle! Tingle! Cool Olympa! Become an item! You got a Tingle bottle. Using Meverse, you can insert a message you've written and send it out to see for someone unknown to receive. Too bad Meverse doesn't exist anymore. Mr. Fairy, are you familiar with Meverse? With it, messages put in this bottle can be sent to fairies the world over. A common communion of minds, hearts beating as one. Just don't write anything unpleasant, okay? Not that I have to remind you, Mr. Fairy. Splendid, Tingle is returning now to his own special island. Will you come find me? Yeah, it's sort of necessary to beat the game. Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you, don't you? You got the Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to sea and then check your charts on the map screen to find out. Open it on the map screen. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't ever forget it. And if you'd like to give your Tingle Bottles that little extra oomph that all Tingles crave, you should check that back of this cell. Check it out right now. Oh, what's in the cell? You can now send letters in Tingle Bottles by using Meverse, which doesn't exist anymore, so we can actually not do it. So this is useless. I'm sure. We'll receive it from anyone. But no one can send anything to us because Meverse doesn't exist. First of all, whoops. There's a roop under the table. A purple roop. Second of all, whoa, breaking the plates. Second of all, we can push this aside and go in a cavern. No, don't sidle. Ugh. Always forget that it's different than Ocarina of Time. We're gonna go right. And then left. And then straight. And then right. And then left. No, not straight. Left. Left. And then... Wait. I'm lost. I'm trying to go the way this is saying. But I can't seem to do it. I went wrong the first time, or didn't I? Screw you, Mr. Rat. Okay, it says right. Then left, then straight, then right, then left, then straight again, then left, then right, then right. Straight. And 
right. There we go. What could it be? What could make our Miiverse post so special? You got a Picto box! Set it to be used with X, Y, or R! It can record up to 12 pictographs! Press ZR to view the pictographs! Ooh, the 10 roops. Alright, so that's all we needed from here. Doesn't really matter where we go now. Did you get the sail? Once we leave this island, it may be some time before we again return to its shores. Make sure you've brought in everything you need before we depart. Yeah, yeah. Though we're not gonna do that just yet. I'm not trying to talk to you, lady. Can't you see I'm busy? Jeepers. Get out of my way. Oh, oh if you please, young boy here, help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. You know. Get away from me, sir. Why are people talking to me? I'm not trying to talk to you. Just because I'm trying to scooch my booch up this hill real fast. So, the first thing we're going to do is go into this mini game here. See what's over here? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I'm definitely wrong. This is definitely not the way there. What the heck am I doing? Ouch, my legs. Where's the minigame? There it is. Gosh, I'm so rusty, I don't even know where the places are in the city. Now, this is gonna take forever. This is a game of battleship. And it's luck based. We get, we get three items here based on luck. Yeah, let's play. <laughs> Welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvalski. Look sharp for the of Z. We are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert, all hands on deck. Sonar shows that schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle. But where? Oh, who? I see the friends approach. There are three squid groups. A large one, a medium one, and a small one. If they allow them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in great danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and sink all of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that can you fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must score four dark hits on the large, three on the medium, and two on the small. Use L to move the cursor and press A to fire the cannonballs. May your aim be true. That is all. That is all the instructions you need. Is that clear, sailor? Aye, aye, sir. Excellent. So far, our best sailor has managed to destroy all these squids using only 20 cannonballs. May you fight me as bravely. Oh, yeah. Using the 20 fireballs is very hard. Kaboom. Oh, we got something right away. Kaboom. I think. No. Is it sploosh? No. We did get them. Interesting. Sploosh. 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 There's no way. Sploosh. Sploosh. Oh, the hardest one. Left. I mean, it's probably easier to find. It's four things. 
Splish, 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 splish. Splish, splish. Kaboom! Splish. Damn. <sighs> All right. Well, I'll meet you when we do this because this is gonna take forever. I don't want to hear your dang things again. Well, we got it once. Use all the bombs, though. Excellent work, Sailor. Your deeds have successfully protected this peace on this fair island. We are so proud of you. The children on the island would like to thank your Sailor. Hooray! Yay! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. So, uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me, and, uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door. No, I want to play again, because there's two other prizes to get. Two of them are around. What? Excellent work, Sarah. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so proud of you. The children on the island would like to thank you, Sailor. Hooray! Yay! Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Sailor. This is our thanks to you. It's been passed down on our island for many years, so don't tell the island elder, okay? Here, please accept this treasure chart. Yay. So, uh, thanks for playing. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So we didn't do it in less than 20. It took us 21, I think. We're never gonna do this in less than 20. I think we did it. We got 19. Excellent work, sailor. Blah, blah, blah. The children. Blah, blah, blah. Hooray! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor. Please accept all our combined allowances. Again, you only have $50? 
Wait, wait a second. 19? Hey, that's a record. So, uh, you get this too. Another treasure chart. So, I uh, thank you for playing and all that. Blah, 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 umbrella. All right, I'm gonna save it because there's no freaking way that I'm doing that again. All right, I don't know how much of that I'm gonna cut. Hopefully we have enough money to buy the sea chart now. We do not. We need five more rupees. Oof. All right, somewhere we need to find five rupees. All right, we got 10 more rupees. Oh, don't talk to me, sir. No, I'm not gonna help you. You're poor. I don't talk to poor people. G become rich next time I'm here and I might talk to you. Ugh. This is the man we need to see. The guy with a big... Like it's snowing or something. My story is a strange one. I came across cursed seas from a land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh, yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that for me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem the least, least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you, I wish to open a business here in this town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? Yes, 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 thank you very much. Indeed, I have, I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that. We got a boat sail. That's what we came for. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. I will. Thank you. The next thing we're going to do is go to the pictograph shop. I don't know where that is, though. The coffee shop. I think it's up here. Yes. The shop with a pictograph on it. Why, young sir? I must say, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picture box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of picture box lovers. Take your time, look around, I implore you. And while you're here, please do visit my upstairs pictograph gallery. We're bound to find it quite exciting, young sir, I guarantee it. Here, what does it look like? Whoa, there's a picture my grandma made out of a gyroid from Animal Crossing. Oh, 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 oh. I'll do some finely snapped pictographs, you must admit it. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It's a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing of it. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, sir. young sir. Not a bad pictograph, huh? Is that not a rather mysterious statue? The statue's home is on one of the Triangle Islands. It lies due south of here. There are a total of three Triangle Islands, the northern, the southern, and the eastern Triangle Islands. Each of them has a statue, such as that, standing on its shores. Those are my grandma. You're a weird man, sir. You're a weird man. This pictograph chills me to the bone. The Forsaken Fortress. 
This place lies to the northwest of our fair isle, but it has been enveloped in filthy dark, dark clouds of late. What are we to do against the silent evil that lingers there? If you value your life, young sir, then at the very least you should stay as far away from that place as possibly can. It feels as if evil that is not in this world lies in waiting there, biding its, biding its time. What does this pit grab of you ask? Well, these are creatures called choo-choos. They are said to have medicinal properties, so they are our most important resource treasured by your sailors the world over. Why, there is even said to be an extremely rare species of them, known as the blue choo-choo. It is only under very unusual circumstances that they are of average sizes. You would be most lucky to ever come across one, young sir. This, pretty, this is a pretty nice photograph. This is one of the tiny rock islands resting out far out of the sea, southern Europe. Uh, isn't it nice? There was a very dignified butler standing before the door, and I snapped this photo pictograph without even thinking. That aside, I am certainly th certain this is someone's private cabana. Could it be... The school teachers? This is an incredible pictograph. I saw this strange platform rising up out of the sea, seeming to claw the sky. It makes for an even stranger silhouette. I wonder if such things still remain out there on the high seas, lonely on the waves. Ah, if only I had the chance, I would love to see these things once again. This is a pictograph of an isle I once visited. Isn't it a finely snapshot? I took it in my younger days at this outset island. It is the most delightful of fishing villages, innocent and rich with nature's bounty. It was there I met a beautiful young lass. Although I suppose she is probably not as young as she used to be these days. Telling my grandma. Dick. What kind of pictograph is this, you ask? Oh, an ill-fated day. Misfortune befell me and my boat was destroyed. Clinging to the wreckage, I drifted at the whims of the waves. That's when I saw this monstrosity. This foul ship veiled in mist and fading in and out of sight like something of another world. Yes, my young sir, tis nothing other, other than the ghost ship. The rumors I've heard of tell of a man who researched the reaches of the sea where the ghost ship faded in and out of sight and that he drew a map of his movements. But it is said that as soon as the man had finished drawing the lines of that cursed map, he died a most unexpected death. Chilling, truly chilling. Now if one were able to find that map, then it might be possible to seek out that ghost ship and get the treasure that is said to be looked within its hull. What's the secret to snapping a fine figure up, you ask? Why it is to stand back as a slight distance and to capture a subject framed in just one right manner. If the pictograph box is too zoomed in, you cannot discern what the subject is correctly. That is why such a pictographs are rarely considered to be fine snapshots. Okay, did we look at them all? I think we did. Let's get the fart out of here. And then come right back in. You see, young sir, I have been studying picto boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible pictography capabilities is a long last. But now I have grown old and have no real desire to leave this island. Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but could you perchance become my pictograph assistant? Sure. Oh, oh, really, really and truly, my heart leaps at your enthusiasm, but I feel I must tell you the path an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whoever, whosoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue and promptly complete it without hesitation. It'll be quite a challenge, I assure you. Are you still sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Ah, you must share my love of the pictograph. What is your name, young sir? Paul, is it? Very well then, I shall issue three commands to you. On the day you complete all three tasks, you shall be my number one assistant, Paul. Now then, for my first command. A love letter. You know what that is, young sir. It is a collection of words of love, long unspoken and put into written form. Somehow, in this, somewhere in this town, there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the cold lesson of unrequited passion and continues to write letters of doomed love. I am certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is in quite a quandary. Over the matter, I am on the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have physical evidence, and thus your first task is to snap a pictograph of this individual in the act of sending the unwanted letters. 
That sounds easy, does it not? Rightly so. If you hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. All right. Let's put our pictograph in one of the slots. And we'll go find this man in red overalls. A plumber, perhaps. Not sure where he is. Or if we have to see him at a specific time. There is a clock. There he is. This dude right here. Come on, dude. You walk slow as farts. All right, I'll meet you when we take the picture. I literally saw you. Where are you? Are you gonna take, are you gonna do this or what? to the guy. I'm gonna break the camera rolling like this. Somewhere in this town, there was one of those fight. Yeah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh, now this is a finely snap pictograph indeed. Hmm, now, they say love is blind, but what could be th he be thinking, mailing all these letters? I should not ridicule him, though, for he reminds me of myself back in my innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet summer days come rushing back to me. But I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Very well. Next is my second command. You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps at even the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture that instant of pure fear on his individual's face in a pictograph. So tell me, do you think you can complete this task, young sir? Don't let me answer. How did you get over here again? No, this is not the place. I need to go to the bar. Cafe, whatever. Lately, I've been hearing that monsters from the South's Forsaken Fortress have been going around kidnapping girls with long ears. I can't believe it. After all, two girls from Windfall have already been kidnapped, poor Maggie and Miller. It just breaks my heart to think about those two girls. Both of their fathers are desperate to find anyone who can rescue their poor little girls. What kind of a world has this become? So much fear and suffering. Ah. 
This guy is not cooperating with us. It's way easier to aim the camera with motion controls, but unfortunately I cannot do that. Because I'm not using the gamepad, and even if I was, it'd be hard to move around. This little area I'm in. So hopefully us coming in and out will replace the dishes we crashed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you... I don't think this is going to be good enough. We're too close to him. Let's try it anyway. talking to him. I know that I need to press X. Oh, oh now this is a finally snap pictograph indeed. Clearly this individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. Fear is a constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have passed on a most admirable manner, say. And is it me, or is this chap quite the striking individual? Very good, young sir, and this means you have passed my second test. I shall probably take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Okay, talk to him again. Very good news, next is a long laugh. My final command, open your heart and mind and listen to what I have to say. Somewhere in town is a couple, a man and a woman whose heart is secretly filled with thoughts of the other. And yet for reasons unknown, the two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other on the road, they each steal a brief, furtive glance of the other, but they suppress the longing in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of the town and my own desire to help those two poor souls, I shall become Cupid, Archer of Love. Those are two timid... These two timid... Ugh. These two are timid burglars in the house of love, and they must capture a photograph of them making their furtive thoughts. And young Master Paul, if and when, hope beyond hope, you manage to complete your third task, then shall you be the number one pupil. Ho ho ho, does that not excite you? Good luck to you, young sir. Alright, for this one, I believe we have to go over here. This lady. Get away from me, kids. I'm trying to take pictures of people. We want to have her on the left, so that when the man comes and looks at her, he's on the right, and then Shazow! We got them! We took their picture! It has to be right when they're looking at each other. So I will meet you when this happens. Damn kids, get out of the way! You almost made me miss my shot! I hope that was good enough. Oh, I keep talking to him instead of getting the camera out. Behold, oh, is a finally snap photograph, pictograph indeed. I had no idea these two would get along so splendidly. You can see the love there, hidden but thriving. Even I, who have lived in this town for so many long years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passions. You have done well, Paul. I shall probably take this po pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Now then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I set to you to. My doubts about you have all been cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Paul. And no assistant of mine will be going around taking pictographs in monochrome. Not in a million years. So here, allow me to present you with this picto box. We got the deluxe picto box, a gift from Lenzo. Commemorating your becoming his assistant, it can take color pictographs. Set it to and use it with YX 
or R. Boom. Until now, you could only take black and white photographs. Pictographs. Ugh. Don't tell me we don't know what photographs are in this day and age. But now you can take color pictographs, allowing you to show the world as it was meant to be seen. Now, go out there and snap pictographs. Snap them in color for me. For all the years I spent unable to do the show, fulfill my life's ambition, go on to Paul. Cool. All right, there's only one thing we can do right now with the color pictograph. Uh, so, for now, we don't have the spell to change it to night here, so we can't do that guy's thing. Fuck this lady. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. Why, looking this fine would have won me the Miss Windfall crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the younger girls I know. hoo 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 I have to put the color pictograph on? Why is this not... So finicky. Get her in the frame. I'll switch it to color. No. Well, is this how I look today? Why? I had no idea that the gloss of my skin was so perfect. Just look at me, I'm so stunning. Oh, I feel so wonderful now. I have to reward you for making me feel so good about myself here. We got a treasure chart. Open the chart. We don't, can't use these yet because we don't have the crane. My son picked it up somewhere and I would well, imagine you like this sort of thing, correct? My son likes it, so you must too. Ugh, I'm not your son, lady. All right, the last thing we're gonna do before we sit out on our world is talk to those dumb kids. But we'll do that next time on Wind Waker. Bye!